Okay, so now to the diamond of the year. Since 2013, we have acknowledged and honoured amazing women who shaped the Challenge organisation and made a difference to the lives of children and families that we support. Having such extraordinary community of women behind our organisation, the selection process to nominate a candidate is always difficult and this year is no different. This year's recipient has been involved in Challenge program for many years and is an outstanding contributor to the organisation, volunteering her time and energy whenever and wherever she can. For countless years, this woman has been a pillar of support in our community, stepping up when it matters most and rallying her, her, rallying her extensive network of friends to do the same. This woman is always looking to give back where she can and does so out of the goodness of her heart and the sincere belief in the work that Challenge do. She believes in Challenge because she knows it from all angles. The woman first began, became involved in Challenge, not in a volunteering capacity, but as a mother of a child with cancer. She was able to see firsthand the direct benefits of the services that Challenge provides and how much of a positive impact it made on her family's journey. In 2006, this woman's world changed forever when her eldest son died of leukaemia, a grief no parent should ever experience. Through her pain, she was able to find strength by giving back to other families facing similar circumstances to the ones she had lived. Her positivity and passion is undeniable and her ultimate goal is to make more people aware of challenge, affording them the same support she considers herself fortunate to have had. She works tirelessly behind the scenes uh, to support challenge and while doing this, she continues to honour the incredible legacy of her beautiful son, Daniel. Without further ado, it gives me great pleasure to announce that this year's Diamond of the Year is Andrea Zanella. <laughs> and this will be a surprise to Andrea, so we just have to bear with us while she comes from a table, and we've managed to invite some of her family and friends here today as well to be with her in this moment. Wait for her to come to the stage. It's not me, but apparently she's quite shy, so we're going to get her out here soon. But I thought rather than have awkward music for ages, I'll just come out and explain that. But here she is. Andrea Zanella. I don't know what to say, I heard all that and I didn't know it was me. <laughs> oh God, stupid. The work I do for Challenge, I do because I want to. I do because someone did it for my son while he was with us. This is my family. Um, the first time we met anyone from Challenge, it was actually Dave Rogers, the CEO, who I thought was a volunteer. 
he came in and asked Daniel to fill out a form of things he loved to do, his football team. My son loved the Navy Blues. We're one, two in a row. <laughs> um, Dave would come in and, and, and visit Daniel all the time at the hospital. He'd sit down and have a banter with him. It was always about football because David is a Tiger supporter. Max being a Blues supporter, Dave would come in. Um, as soon as Daniel knew that Dave was on the ward, I'd have to go find him. Dave would come in and he'd burst through the door or he'd pull the curtain and say, Richo! And then Daniel would turn around and look at Dave and go, he's as soft as a poo sandwich. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just, I'm blown away. Sorry, I, I don't know what else to say, but whatever <laughs> it takes, I will do for challenge for everything they've done for us. I see what they do for other families. I see where the money goes. Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Challenge. Thanks, everyone. Andrea was extremely emotional, blown away, wasn't she? Yeah. Just incredible. Thank you, everybody.